Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our 5-Minute Bible Study Series. Today, we've got one of the shortest chapters that we've covered yet in the Bible. We've only got 11 verses. We're going to talk about David going out with the army of the Philistines and what happened there. So this is 1 Samuel chapter 29. I'm going to do something I've never done before, and that is try to film this entire video in one take. This will be a revolutionary moment if I accomplish it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes and how messy it is, but I've never actually done it. If you want the PDF that's on the screen right now, you can download it on our website. So let's go ahead and get into our first section. When did these events happen? Not much has changed here since the last chapter. The events in chapter 29 occurred probably between 1015 BC and 1010 BC. Now David, we know, lived amongst the Philistines for some time previous to the events of this chapter. We're told that he lived with the Philistines for a year and four months, according to chapter 27, verse 7. That takes us to our characters. We already mentioned David. So Samuel, the last judge, had anointed David to be the next king of Israel, but he's not king yet. He, he lived amongst the Philistines because the current king, King Saul, was always trying to kill him. So that's how he ended up with the Philistines instead of the Israelites. Achish is our second major character in this chapter. He was the king of Gath, and David was his bodyguard, according to verse 28, verse, uh, chapter 28, verse 2. Okay, so where did these events happen in, uh, uh, this is why I don't do it in, <laughs> in one take. <laughs> where did these events happen geographically uh, in, uh, on the map? <laughs> the Philistine army was camped at Aphek. Aphek, you'll notice, is in the land of Ephraim. And then the Israelite army was camped at the spring of Jezreel, which is significantly north, kind of up by the Sea of Galilee. All right, that's our first page. Now moving on to our second page for our outline section. I've got two sections, even though the chapter is pretty short, just to break it down a little bit. Verses 1 through 5, the Philistines dismiss David from their army. So the Philistines, as we mentioned, they had gathered an army. They were going to fight against the Israelites. And when Achish's company passed by the lords of the Philistines, the lords of the Philistines took notice of David and the, the men that were with him because they weren't Philistines, they were Hebrews, and something evidently made them stand out. They asked Achish, quote, what are these Hebrews doing here? And Achish informed them that the, the Hebrews were led by David, who had previously deserted to him from Israel and ever since that time had been a, a loyal servant of his. Well, the lords of the Philistines had heard of David, as you might imagine. He had fought them in the past and had won great victories. They knew how the Israelites sang about David. He's killed his, uh, Saul has killed his thousands. David has killed his ten thousands. So they had heard that he was a fierce warrior for Israel in the past, and they didn't want David fighting alongside them because they figured, you know, if he was going to try to win favor with the Israelites again and go back to his home country, what better way than to turn on them during the battle? So that's section one. Now, verses six through 11, we will finish off the chapter. Achish sends David home. Achish went to David. He told him the news of what the lords of the Philistines had said. And he acknowledged that David had always been loyal to him. He had no reason to distrust him, but that he would need to return home to Ziklag because the Philistines didn't want to fight with him. So in the morning, David headed south to Ziklag, and the Philistine army moved north to Jezreel to this battle, which we'll talk about in the, the upcoming chapters. All right, that is 1 Samuel chapter 29. One more section to go here. Let's talk about our application. Rejection can sometimes be a gift from God. David was ready to fight, a uh, fight against Saul and against the people of God until the Philistine lords turned him away and sent him home. Now, I think we should see God's hand in that. It wasn't solely a decision of the Philistine lords, but rather God had his part in it. He was guiding the whole process. God had another destiny for David as the leader of the Israelites rather than as their adversary. So what we can learn from this is that when we experience rejection, even rejection that seems to be unfair or unjust, remember how David's moment of rejection changed the trajectory of his life for the better. And it may be that we experience certain rejections in our lives because God is directing us in a new and a better way. So there we go. We did it uh, in one take. Hopefully the audio is all right. and I don't think it was too terrible. Thanks for joining us. 
Join us again tomorrow, Lord willing, for 1 Samuel chapter 30, the second to last chapter in the book.